Good day, everyone. I have just discussed that we'll be looking at C sharp programming right from the basics. Let's start with the most basic understanding of C sharp programming, which is variables. So, in our today's lecture, we will understand about variables and what are the different variable types that are present in C sharp programming. This is the main basic that we'll be starting with so that we start understanding and building up on concepts in C sharp. So, let's start with our current lecture. So first is the introduction to variables. So variables are the main building blocks of any code or script. So as you know in C, C++ or any programming language, variables are the main blocks where you store values, where you process values, where you keep the values. So think about variables as storing containers for your information. So think about each variable or each variable that you are going to make as a place where you are storing the information in. So that is what the beauty of variables is because you can store different kinds of information. So one thing that we will be looking at is type casting a variable. So the process of converting a value of one type to another type. So for example, you can say integer y is 5 by 2, which is 2, which will be stored in the integer. So the two value will be stored in the integer. And explicit type casting is you are saying integer type, integer 3 is an integer type 3.5. So it will hold the three value of three in the variable z. 
So these kind of type casting variables are sometimes used for approximations or various purposes when you're writing the programming or program support. You can carry out various arithmetic operations such as what you can see over here, int x is 2 plus 2. So you can carry out arithmetic operations using that. Say for example, x is equal to 5, x plus plus and x minus minus. So a variable can be created which holds x plus plus or x minus minus. So this kind of arithmetic operations can be carried out with these variables. In fact, what you can do is you can store, say, x is equal to 2 plus 2. So you can have 2 in y and 2 in z. So you can do x is equal to y plus z. So that sort of arithmetic operations are also very much possible using these variables. You can do assignment operations also. As I said, x is equal to 2 or x plus equal to 2, which means x is equal to x plus 2 or x is equal to x minus 2. So Assignment arithmetic operators as assignment operators as arithmetic operators work the same across different languages. So they are the same as if they are working in C, C++, C, C sharp or anything. So they, they work almost the same in all these languages. Also. So this is a basic introduction of what are, are variables and variable types. So we'll definitely look at much more things in our next. Thank you.